Should you train while you're injured? If you'd like to know my opinion about it, stay tuned and watch this short video. If you want to master MMA fundamentals, check out my instructional called MMA Essential Lessons Part 2. In it you will learn about boxing, Muay Thai, grappling, clinch wrestling, ground and pound, boxing into takedowns and takedown defense. Check out the link in the description below. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net where we teach coaches, fighters and enthusiasts how to train smart and not just hard. And in today's video I'll be talking about whether you should train while you're injured. Now, a few days ago I broke my metacarpal bone, so this prompted me to shoot a video for you about whether you should train while you're injured. Now, uh, if you think I uh, hurt it by punching something or someone, uh, you're wrong. Metacarpal bones usually break that way, but uh, it was not the case to this time. I had, a, I had one of the coaches from our academy in a front headlock, and he tried to peel my hand off, and instead of peeling the entire hand off, he grabbed uh, a little finger and cracked it. Like He didn't crack the little finger, but he used it to crack the metacarpal bone. So this is how I got the injury. Now this is a downside of being a fighting coach. And if you want to know the difference between an observing coach and a fighting coach, watch this video that I made a while back. Anyway, should you train while injured? It depends. Here are a few things to consider. First of all, don't wallow in self-pity. This is really important. Many fighters have this tendency of uh, feeling sorry for themselves because they, because they got injured. They cannot train now while well, I have this competition coming up. Now I will miss it. Oh, poor little me. Stop it. So don't even entertain this thought. This kind of thinking will do you no good and will actually prevent you from making the best of the situation. So stop thinking in those terms and view this injury as an opportunity to improve something else that you can work on. It's your choice whether you can look at this as doom or as an opportunity. The second thing you need to consider is that you must do what you can as soon as you can. What does that mean? If there's nothing that you can do right now, I suggest just going to training and staying mentally present and observing it. You can also help with the training, maybe you can time the rounds, you can give feedback to your training partners and you can act as a second coach. The worst thing that you can do is go home, watch Netflix and get fat. Don't do that. Stay in the gym even if you cannot do anything physically just yet. Stay there and watch. It's kind of like visualizing fighting. Uh, the fighting techniques that you will observe from your uh, training partners that are drilling them and that are using them in sparring will stay in your brain as well, so you will not be losing so much of your training. It, it doesn't sound like much, you watching the training, but believe me, it has a lot of effect on your fighting ability. Watching techniques being done is also a form of mental rehearsal. And as soon as you can do something, start doing it. For example, I broke my hand, and what can I do right now? Uh, I will avoid uh, running just yet because it's still fresh. I don't want to be sending shock waves to my bone until it's at least a little bit solid. Uh, so I will, I will avoid uh, punching um, the bag with my healthy hand. I will avoid kicks, I will avoid uh, jumps, I will avoid running. But for now I can do squats, I can do multiple types of sit-ups or abdominal exercises, I can do back extensions and I can do some rolls too, but I have to be very careful not to injure my arm. So if you think that you might injure your body more by doing some exercise, don't do it. I'm also going to be showing some techniques, but I'm very careful when I'm doing so. Before when I injured my right shoulder and elbow, I completely stopped working with this arm and I sparred with my left arm. I had focus mitts, I uh, did uh, kicks on the bag, on, uh, on focus mitts as well. I sparred, I did everything with one arm, so I didn't lose much of training at all. This is a very good idea, but you have to be careful not to, to re-injure or even make it worse the body part that's injured. So do what you can as soon as you can, even if it seems insignificant. Maybe all that you can do is are sit-ups like I do or back extensions, but it's not insignificant. You are, you're going to keep your body at least in some kind of a shape instead of being a slob and you know watching, watching TV all day. And one last thing. 
you need to be very patient when you're training injured. What does that mean? It means that when you start training injured, you really want to incorporate that injured part of your body after a while. But you have to make sure that you're really ready to take the next step, to include that body part in your training. So don't be in such a rush to get back to full training. Even if that means taking maybe additional five to 10 days off, so you're to, to make sure that your body is fully healed up, do so. Take those extra days off, take an extra month off. For example, if you had a knee surgery and you have, uh, you have been training and rehabbing yourself for like two or three months or four, and you're not sure if you can start training fully again, take another month off. It's not gonna hurt you, but starting early could hurt you. So be smart about this. Are you interested in improving your striking and dominating your opponents? If so, check out my MMA Striking Made Easy instructional. The link is in the description. How do you deal with injuries? Do you start training immediately? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, like it and share it, and you can also subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like a more in-depth MMA training, check out my instructionals. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net, and I'll see you again very soon.